Today is the 16th of January 2021, day 3 of inpatient. 13 year old female red ear slider came on the 13th of January 2021. Three days ago. Eh? 0 0.78 kg. Came for a complaint of prolapse. Okay, turn upside down, you can see the prolapse from the vent. We call it the, this is called a vent prolapse. I will, I will focus on it. You can see that uh, actually there are three possibilities, two actually. Eh? The three are bladder, prolapse. Bladder will be thin wall and filled with urine fluid. So that one is not bladder. Uh, intestinal prolapse, where you can see that it is an intestine coming out. Uh, usually it's the rectum. And you can see the lumen. Lumen means, can you see a lumen? Put the faucet there and show. Lumen means uh, opening. Uh. Is there any lumen? Yeah. There is a lumen. Uh. Yeah. And of course, the third one is oviduct. Oviduct prolapse, there is also a lumen. But uh, lumen is not so obvious. But in this case, we can see the lumen in, in both cases. Uh. i point to the lumen again. Now, put upside down, uh, put upside down, and then when you see the lumen, upside down, put on the table. Uh, you see the lumen, uh, how deep can you go in? Uh, so it's quite deep. So now we, we don't rule out, I mean, I wouldn't rule out that this is a intestinal prolapse as well. So when there is surgery to be done, you have to be very careful uh, that uh, you don't uh, have any uh, closing up of the lumen. Otherwise, the radius cellar can't pass motion, okay? Now we show the the X-ray first. Then put it back in the into the okay. Show the X-ray. Ninety degrees. Okay, block the light. Uh, okay, explain. Okay, now this is the X-ray. Now we, it's called vent prolapse. The diagnosis, huh? It's a female radius slider, and that is the vent. Vent is shown in the X-ray as well. Okay, so this is the first image. Now the X-ray, the ordinary X-ray is the second image. This is an inverted image. Huh? Now second image is very hard to see uh, the egg. You know? Now although you can almost see the egg, but it's not easy to see. Uh. There, are, there is one big egg and then the, the, the other small ones, which we will show in the third slide. Now this one, I have written some diagnosis. Uh, can you enlarge a bit? Uh, okay. The vent prolapse in the radius slider female there are three possibilities. One is intestinal tract, which is muscular and has a lumen with stools in it. Huh? With stools, but this one is, of course, you cannot see the stools now. Now, number two, bladder is thin wall and fluid filled. That is not a bladder. Number three is oviduct with a would be lumen with no fecal material. Now, so this, this diagnosis will be this one and three so which one is which now we look at the third slide the third slide okay which i have uh, given the options uh, for treatment now treatment is surgical now because what happened was he was bitten right the prolapse yeah. uh, explainer yeah it traumatized by the others with ears like that the male um, bit yeah, bit it's this on. Mm. and she was she had just laid eggs about uh, maybe one day ago, so maybe the male was going to eat the eggs as well and and bite her, her either intestine or without so they came out outwards. Huh? Now, so what is the treatment? Huh? The treatment for oviduct prolapse, if it's the prolapse of the oviduct, is number one, push it back and first string suture and do a first string suture to uh, the, the suture itself. A pressing suture is a, is a suture around the inner uh, or the vent to close it up, then it will heal. Then number two, number two will be... Incise. Incise a vent so that you have a bigger opening and push it back. Uh, that one, that one, then after you put a pressing suture around the vent again to close up. But that one is not possible because it's already rotten. Okay, then number three, amputate. Amputate the necrotic oviduct, which is the option here. Okay, show the. We will show the. 
radio slider now. Amputation. Now, take away this. Uh, okay, the scalpel. Okay. Now, to amputate it, we have to amputate the rotten area. You pull it out a bit. And you can see there's a normal muscular area point to, to, to the front of it. You see, now this normal. So what we do, we, we, we will cut scalpel blade to cut. Uh, cut, cut, transect across. Then, uh, okay, and then what we do is we stitch up the mucosa and the internal submucosa circumferentially, that means in the circumference. Uh, in that case, we don't uh, tie up the whole, whole uh, ah, yes. lumen, yeah, so that there's a lumen there, which is what is normally happens in a normal case. And uh, after that, antibiotics and painkillers. This will be done under anesthetic. Okay, we turn the radius back to normal. Now you can see, has it eaten for the last three days? Uh, no. She hasn't eaten, huh? Yeah. Now, okay, hold, hold, hold properly, uh, point to the cloth. Now, how do we know whether this is a male or female? Actually, one of the one of the factors is that uh, the cloths are, sh are, sh are shorter. The males one, the cloths are about 1.5 centimeter, one centimeter long. Now, this is a 14, 13 to 14 year old radius slider. And uh, look at the size, it's actually not very big. How many grams is it? 780 grams. 80 grams, yeah. Now, but you can see that uh, it's quite uh, good size, but not big enough. It should be at least, I would estimate if it's a... 1.5 kg. Uh, if, it's, uh, if it's well fed, like nutrition wise. So she was fed vegetables most of the time and recently pellets for the last two months because she has lost appetite. So, Turn upside down one more time and we will conclude this article, this video by showing that this vent prolapse. Now, of course you don't expect stool to come out now because it's swollen. Eh? So the 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 radius right that cannot, cannot pass stools as well because it's all swollen and urinate also probably can or cannot. Can urinate? Can. Uh. Yeah. You saw it? Yeah. From where? From this vent lumen? Uh, from the from the sides. From the side, huh? Yeah. If she can urinate from the side, then this will be most likely an oviduct in this case because if not, then she will urinate through the the lumen of the of the this muscular mass or material. Okay, I shall stop now. This concludes the diagnosis and treatment of an unusual case of. Obeduct prolapse. Singapore to this one day? 16, 16 January 2021. 2021. Papayo Pets.